take it over If I could give you just a little space You smile and say you're back before I know it But something else was written on your Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble uh, my latest and uh, best uh, and ultimate camera vlogging setup. So as you see, I have here this full frame camera. This is the Z6 actually from Nikon. And it's enclosed in this uh, aluminum cage or rig as they called it. And with this rig, there's a couple of... Uh, Holes in here, standard uh, one port in three eight inch rig holes. So I was able to, you will notice, I was able to attach a uh, extra cold shoe adapter here, on this side in this top, as well as on this side. So in here, I can, I already attach here an adapter for my video head. Which you are going to see later. Okay, so before I'm going to attach anything in here, you will notice there's a couple of uh, you, uh, there's a dust in here, and uh, for all you know, we need to avoid uh, this dust ge getting in inside this uh, the sensor. So I'm going to open this one. So what happened is uh, this. Uh, This accessories comes on handy and uh, removing some of the dust. Look at this one. So you'll notice this dust over here settled on this uh, on top of this uh, of this rig. If I just blow it like this. There you go. There's some more of it here, here, here. Just to make sure that Nothing is going to get into my sensor once I'm going to open this one. As you see, you don't want any dust getting in this in that sensor. So I'm going to close it again. So in here I'm going to add more accessories on top of this like I did like the handle for instance this one this is made of uh, aluminum or some type of a brass alloy material it's very strong and the good thing about this is you can see there's a couple of holes that uh, you can use to adapt any kind of accessories that uh, you will be needing so, for instance, in here, I already put this uh, uh, treat adapter, uh, treat uh, nuts and bolts over here, so I can uh, install here an, an external monitor. But for now, we are going to attach this here. Voila! Now this is handle is already attached, so I can easily hold this. Look at this; it's very handy. This is the advantage of uh, using a handle rig for your, if, especially if you have uh, you have this type of uh, you have a, a rig on your camera, because you cannot just rely on this one because this is a, you see it's it's not too strong. So it's, uh, this this is just the advantage if you uh, you have some rig attached to your uh, to the body of your camera, so you can attach any kind of accessories. That you want for instance this one is the handle okay so i'm going to add more in here i have two options mounting options this is a uh, the standard uh, ball head and this is uh, a video head so it depends on the purpose of uh, my style of uh, photography or videography 
So what happened is since I'm going to record the videos most of the time, then uh, I'll be opting to use this video head because what happened is uh, you will notice this uh, this ball head. This ball head is not suitable for uh, video recording because what happened is uh, it's either it's too steep or it's too loose. If you loosen this uh, tightener. But for us here, this video head is spring loaded inside. So what happens is even if you loosen this a bit, there's always some kind of resistance. This prevents uh, from any jerky movement uh, during uh, video recording. So, so this is very smooth and at the same time you have this handle, leverage lever, that allows you to pan your camera up and from little to the right panning. So we'll uh, put this aside. Okay, so I already mounted this uh, camera and rig set up to this uh, video head. So that's how it looks like. So you see, I can be able to pan this smoothly. I already got this assembled. Okay, so this is a. Uh, you'll notice here, I have an extra shoe here. Look at this. And this one, I will be attaching this adapter. Look at that. Yep, it's a, a pretty heavy on the, the right side, it topples down. So I think I need to balance a bit. Yeah, this uh, this battery bank is a, a little bit heavy. That's why it's stepping on this on this right side. So I just remove the battery for now so that it will not tape on this uh, on the right side. So you'll see the idea. Take a look on that. So that's the advantage of you have this uh, ec extra holes where you can add a cold shoe and then you can attach any kind of accessories that you want. For instance, this one is uh, what's this? This is a shotgun mic that I will attach later on to this main camera. And of course, this is uh, actually this is a cell phone holder which is I bought from, uh, this is uh, manufactured by Olansi. And uh, right now I'm using this, you can use any uh, any gadgets in here. But of course, as you can see, this is, this is more suitable for, it's either a cell phone or a bank, a battery bank. So we'll be adding more accessories. I'm going to add now the, the tripod here to make this more stable. Now I have this small tripod. This is capable of uh, holding up to 11 pounds or 5.5 kilos, kilogram load. One good feature of this uh, mini tripod is you can see this is a uh, a standard 3.8 uh, trades over here, but actually, it uh, you can also use this for one port uh, in uh, trade. You just you look at that. See, it's very amazing. It's very flexible, so you can use this for it's either one port or trade in trade. 
Yeah, because most of uh, the beige head and most of those uh, like this uh, bald head, they comes with, comes out with uh, this standard trait uh, in straight hole, treated hole. You see the hole is in here is a uh, three eight inch. Okay, see you now. Boiler, that's it. It's now installed with this tripod. Mini tripod. So in this type of setup, this is more stable. Especially when uh, there's a flat surface or in the ground, you can just place it on the ground like this and it's very stable. And now you can start uh, your video recording or uh, doing some of your static photography. Tightening it a bit. Now we are going to add more accessories to add more functionality to this uh, blagging rig. So we have uh, something, uh, there is something missing here. We have the lens. We need the lens for here. Okay, so this is a Z-type Nikon camera. So this is the only Z lens that uh, that is native to this camera. If I'm going to use this, I don't need to use this uh, adapter for this. Uh, this adapter is the F to Z adapter. So what happened is uh, I have this uh, lens here. This is a F adapter from Tamron. This is the most versatile lens in the market today because uh, as you can see it's 18 to 400 millimeter focal length what does it mean is uh, you can use this for uh, wild photography like uh, taking pictures photos of birds and animals in a distance you can also use this for landscape photography portrait photography as well as you can also use this for in some uh, uh, extent uh, interior uh, photography so instead of this lens uh, because what happened is this lens is only 16 to 50 millimeter and this is a little bit uh, this is good for uh, recording videos at a close distance but it, it's quite limiting so some, but sometimes I use this it depends on the situation but for now I'm going to install this one in here usually I before I'm installing any lens on my camera I used to blow some air inside just to make sure that some of those uh, dust will not uh, settle on my sensor I'm going to do here as well there we go should uh, be pretty clean by now Okay. So the way I install this is I align this. Uh, you see this uh, white line here in this, uh, and the white line on the adapter. I have to make sure that they are in line, and then turn it clockwise until I hear some click sound. There you go.
Okay, so the reason why I mentioned that this is uh, can be used for file photography is because this you can zoom this out. And with my full frame camera, this 400 maximum uh, focal length is going to be equivalent to 600 millimeter effective uh, focal length. So it's going to give me 12 times magnification for the subject. So I can use this for uh, wildlife photography landscape photography and portrait photography and I also use this for uh, recording uh, videos okay so the, this is how it looks like and we are going to add more accessories here you will notice there's an extra cold shoe here I'm going to attach another accessories in this uh, part of this, of this whole setup Now I have this already assembled. You will see this. Uh, this is a GoPro, GoPro 8 action camera, and this one. This is the Rode mic. It's a wireless mic actually. From Rode. And on this side, this is the remote shutter release for my camera. So these are the receiver that will be directly attached to this camera and as well as this wireless mic this is also the receiver that will be directly connected to the camera through a wire you will see there's a couple of wires here while for for HDMI this is for charging and this is a standard uh, USB-C. This is uh, it's DMI for external monitor. And this is for the port for the remote uh, shutter release. And this one is for the mic. You will notice it's uh, and this is for the headphone. So this is where I'm going to connect the wireless mic. So you'll see here I will be attaching this one to the cold shoe adapter yes there you go Ta-da! So it lo it's looking good. Okay, so... Look at that. So you'll notice here there's an extra nuts and bolts here. This is where I'm going to uh, install the, the external monitor okay so you notice that this camera comes in with this 3.8 uh, external uh, to this built-in uh, monitor that's why I'm going to install a bigger one alongside this is a 7 inch monitor I already attached this ball head as you see this uh, mix uh, gives the flexibility that uh, I will I can be able to turn this uh, monitor around 360 degrees with this uh, ball head so I'll just be using this one
there you go I already installed this external 7 inch monitor on top of this uh, handle now that's, that's how it looks like okay so the only remaining thing here is to attach the cable that will connect uh, the external monitor uh, my wireless uh, mic and my remote shutter release to my camera so I have here a couple of cables this is for the wireless mic remote shutter release this is for my battery bank charger and this is for my external monitor okay that's it uh, from uh, external monitor to a mini HDMI on my camera and then this uh, mic here I've been installing it here there you go so this one I'm going to install here this is for the remote chat release There you go. I found it here. It's camera. There you go. Now we have a cable here. This is for the uh, charging for the battery of this uh, of the of the this camera here. So you will notice there's a standard UBC port over here but the problem is if I'm going to use this one this is a 90 degrees angle it looks like it will not it's not enough because there's uh, this is one obstruction here so I will be using this uh, adapter So instead of since I cannot directly attach this one, I'll be using this one instead. Like that. There you go. Then Tada Look at that. Okay, so this is now how it looks like. So this is the battery bank is connected to this, uh, to this, uh, to the UBC port of my camera. So what happened is I can do a uh, in-body battery charging of my main camera. So right now see it's already charging okay so that is how it looks like now we are going to turn now the camera and we'll see what happens for now I'm going to use this one okay how come there's nothing here? Well, the thing is, uh, looking here, there's no battery. We need to put some battery. 
Okay, so the ty type of uh, external monitor requires a uh, standard sunny type uh, battery. So we'll be using this one. There you go. Now it's powering up. Look at that. See? There you go. So I'm going to zoom this. It's out of focus. Oh, I see. The problem here is uh, the autofocus of the lens was off, so I have to turn it on. Okay, so instead of looking at here, we can easily look at the 7 inch monitor. Wow, look at that. See? So which do you think is better, looking at this 3.2 inch monitor or this uh, 7 inch monitor? So this is the idea why I install this external monitor. So this is uh, one of the cheapest, uh, but it's not that cheap actually, it's uh, not that expensive. This is uh, when you just need a monitor, exter external monitor for your camera. Or camera setup. This is uh, comes in handy. This is uh, made by this view. What a beauty! See how it's smoothly. This uh, whole setup is uh, being panned from vertically up, in, up, in, up and down. And from side to side, left and right, is because of this uh, video head. This city has a special morning voice. Speaks to me through an open window, masquerading.